As, all right, so let's look into today's daily energy. So Thursday, April 30th. Let's see what's going on. Now, this will be for all signs, guys. At the end, we'll do the pick a card. All right, what is today's daily energy? Thursday, April 30th. So starting with these first three, just with the energy, we have the two of wands here. The cards that fell, nine of pentacles in the reverse, the moon card in the reverse, and the tower card. So honestly, guys, I see someone who is being very fulfilled with the passion that they're following. Um, but at the same time, there is some sort of reservation because of a truth that might be exposed. So let's see what's going on here. We have the temperance card. Six of Wands and Two of Cups. So for a lot of you, there could be some sort of relationship that you're getting into or some sort of reconciliation that you're going through today. Um, this could be romantic. This could be something maybe with like a friend that you fell off from. But there's a drastic change where it really, really suits a person. And it's like you're very, very sure of what this is. You have a deep understanding of what this is. I feel like somebody is working on bringing something from the past back in, okay? So whatever this is, guys, it's something that your soul really resonates with. It's something that you find success with here with the Six of Wands. So let's pull three more cards. We have the Death card, the Knight of Pentacles, and we have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. So the reason why you guys are able to have success with something is because you're clearly seeing the fact that something just wasn't working out. So you're seeing the truth in that. So yes, there could have been some unfortunate circumstance, but I feel like it really benefited you guys. Um, either that or things just happen much differently than what you expected. But still, it's something that really benefits you. It's something that you guys are taking a slow and steady approach to. It could have to do with the Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn for some of you specifically. Or this could be something that you're building in regards the finances so let's do a pick a card and see what everyone's general or well, personalized rather advice is so think of a card one two or three so definitely something strong today that's taking suit whether it's you know a job that you're building a relationship that you're building it's something that has a very powerful impact and it's something that your soul really resonates with all right three cards one two and three now guys i advise listening to all the cards because it will give you advice on today but listen to yours more uh more rather since it's personalized all right let me just stop my phone All right, so we have one, two, and three. All right, so if you guys chose card number one, you have the strength card in the reverse. So let's see why that's popping up. Um, at the bottom of the deck with the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, this is something that you stop going towards. Or if you are going towards it still, you're doing it very, very slowly. Okay, something where there can be problems if something from the past comes back. So I actually see something that wants to re-enter your life, but it's very debilitating and something about this can't be trusted, whether it's on your part or someone else's part. Something here just isn't trustworthy. Why is the strength card reversed? All right, two cards flip. We have the chariot and we have the queen of pentacles. So I see something taking off really quickly, but at the same time that something good is taking off, something from the past is trying to come back in. I see that as being detrimental for you guys. So it's showing to dodge the bullet, to dodge the arguments, because there's something here that either you're not aware of or somebody around you isn't aware of. So you guys just need to be reserved because again, something is going to take off for you really quickly. Um, and if this has to do with finances, I see you guys benefiting a lot from it. But something from the past is trying to compromise that. So just be aware of that. Okay. 
All right, so if you guys chose card number two, you have the Ten of Cups. So this is a card talking about extreme happiness in a situation. So let's see why this is popping up. We have the Ten of Pentacles, amazing. And we have the higher fun. So whatever it is that you guys are getting into is going to be something that's extremely positive. It's something that you're meant to go through. It's something that's meant to be on your path. Um, you know, this is something that could bring a lot of abundance in regards to money, in regards to happiness. It's just showing that you have someone around you that you cannot trust and you need to protect yourself very heavily so that you don't take on any burden. So you guys have something very positive happening. Uh, somebody wants to be part of this, but they can't. It's something that would just completely throw you off. It would block a lot for you and you'd feel like you're constantly bending over backwards. So take this good thing and keep it to yourself. Okay. All right, guys. So for card number three, we have the King of Wands in reverse. So let's see why this character is popping up for you and what this means for today. We have the Ten of Wands in the reverse. And we have the Moon card. So today you're realizing that there's a burden that needs to be released. There's someone who maybe they're trying to have a lot of power over you. Maybe you are that person. But this is someone who's very overbearing. This is someone who's kind of like breathing over your shoulder all the time. If this has to do with love, then this is someone that's probably not being loyal. Okay. So there's something unstable that you know you need to let go. Again, if this has to do with love, um, I definitely see that maybe someone's, you know, uh, dating multiple people. You could find yourself in a third party situation. So you're realizing that something won't work. OK. Um, and again, it's in the you know, you're understanding this in a very deep way with the moon card. So, yeah, that burden needs to be released. Whoever can't be trusted. All right, guys. So, all right. If you guys want to make any donations, all of that is in the description below. You can also get a reading through my website. That's in the description below as well. But you guys can follow me on Instagram, HighVibrations44. I'm also on Twitter, Bruja Shit. Take care, guys.